Welcome back, folks, and thanks for being with us on this long Thanksgiving weekend. We are here to discuss a play we took on Friday. Friday was a down day for SPY following the news from South Africa where a new COVID variant was found and it's supposed to be very contagious. Now this new variant called Omicron, wonder who comes out with names like that, but Omicron is supposed to be very contagious and no one knows yet if we are immune with the current vaccines that we have. Nonetheless, this is what SPY did at the beginning of the day. Um, if we look at here, this level, um, which was the end of the day on Thursday night, that's the level that we had a drop on Tuesday. We came to that and then we bounce on that level. So as soon as we lost it, well, SPY is really looking for a support. Now, what happened right at the gate, it started rising. This green line that you see across moving down is the um, 200 EMA. And you will also notice that we're not quite reaching that line as resistance and as soon as we get close to that we get to the downside now this video is not about downside it's about finding support for a play that will push us to the upside now this is the intraday uh the um pre-market support and i told you guys this pre-market support right it bounced i wasn't quite convinced because we're not crossing this even this resistance right we're not moving back above this line we're not into the bulls territory no more. we're still in this pre-market activity pre-market activity is not really convincing in this case because it was kind of flat so this red line is 50 ema i'm only using the emas as guidelines um i'm more into the price levels like the the, the ones i'm drawing on on this chart just to show you where the levels are but eventually you know we came down and we lost this level we lost to what now this is when it's interesting because eventually we'll get someone who will be interested in buying spy because you know it will not go down forever so you have like i said you have to look back and move zoom out on this screen right now there's nothing showing you a hint of possible support right so let's get out of here and zoom out you zoom to the one hour chart right and you zoom out to the one hour chart and eventually you'll see that you might have support and let me just put this line here oh there you go see this where we had a double bounce on the left side of the screen I'll show you right here right spy came down here up there it had a double bounce see this double wick there double bounce and it's a bounce on a full day this is the one hour chart right so on one day it tried to get below it and then didn't so this shows that there is support right there now if we lose this line we'll go further down but you see on the entire way down from where we were on you know tuesday uh until there there's nothing else that's the next line down and this is what we intend to play so you have to wait for it let's move back to where we are well where we were when we started the play and you look at the play it says 458 15 it's pretty close so when you see that the play is coming down basically you are ready for a bounce very near that 458.15. Now, are you going to play 458.15s? Are you going to play for next week? 
What I like to play is, and I've shown you this before and I'll show you again, it's something that is safer and we expect to go for 100% move. So here it is. Okay, I know it's a little cheesy, um, but you guys have to laugh. You know, it's all about having fun, learning, trying to teach you something, trying to show you what I see, and enjoy and have a good time. So, the idea is GSS is Guru Special Sauce. Um, we could talk a long time about where that came from, but it's just a funny inside joke with all um, people at X Trades. The idea is something that is already deep in the money that already has value that even if it goes to the next support line it will remain with a value and we look at something that has a possibility to hit 100 percent so you're like okay it's a lot of content but here we go we're here at 458 ish right 4815 while it's coming down you will see this candle it was coming down and then this one was very close to where i wanted and it had to dip and then it started rising but you know we bought this um we bought this play at 1121 so it's pretty much on this candle you know because it's 20 so basically it's when this this was the dip and as soon as it started rising, we were very close to the level of the second one here. This is when we bought. Nonetheless, we were on our target for the bounce. This is what we are looking for. Now, 458.15. And we took the 456 calls. These are in the money already. I've shown you this before. If we were to close right here. When we buy, right there, when we buy, if we were to close there, what would be the value of it? 456 will be worth $2.15. Why? Because that's two, 456 plus 215 equals 458.15. You guys all see this? Because it's the right to buy the stock at this price at expiration would you pay a penny more if it closed lower than that you wouldn't pay a penny more than 215 because you would buy the stock instead right so this is why the idea is to find an equilibrium between something that has value at expiration here on our support right because if it just stays here flat on a support it will still be worth 215 when we have bought one at expiration we paid 259 so this little extra compared to the bottom I believe we were a little higher but this little extra we're paying is for the remaining time that we have until expiration. So we're taking a risk. Obviously, there's always a risk. However, we're at the bottom and we believe that we can go for a rise on the ticker. Now, let me get rid of this here and I'll show you what I mean. Where is possible resistance? You guys agree with that right i mean we went here oh this is a higher low right low higher low obviously if you're looking at this candle by candle in one minute you go nuts that's for sure but if you stick to the plan this was the bottom same support oh it's a higher low it's not a lower low imagine if it had flush if i ha if it had to flush it would go like this right go like this up test sometimes even lower it could go again 
and then flush, right? Or what it will, other things it will do, bounce on it, bounce on it, drop below, tries to get above it, and then below. So you have a chance to get out here when it tries to get above it to pretty much break even, right? Or when it flushes through, you're like, okay, I'm out, no good. But in this case, a low, a higher low. So plan was still intact. And what are we aiming for? We are aiming to the same people. You know, these guys bought here and they sold there. No one wanted anything higher than that. So the same line here is where you want to exit, right? So what did we do at 1231? which is right here is where we stop. We were happy with the play because the play worked. But look at this, we are at 461, right? Or a little above. So the 456 are now five in the money. So basically they are worth almost $5 at expiration, right? 461 you know we paid 259 and we are looking for five in the money so five in the money is five at the end so this is what i what i was saying i'm looking for something that can give me 100 percent with minimum risk why minimum risk because the k will be much lower much lower because we are already deep in the money. If I had taken the 460s or 461s from the bottom here until there, obviously there would have been decay, a lot of risk, and probably more profitable play, for sure. However, a lot of risk, and here, between here and there, the decay would have been so bad. Remember, we only had a short day on Friday. The decay on 45 minutes on same day expiration would have been extremely bad. You know, we could have been down 50% at, at that time. We don't want that. We want something that is kind of safe. We know what to look for. So we are deep in the money already. Some people say, you know, deep in the money is not a good way to make money. Well, some risk management and the idea was this you know your guys are asking what a GSS play is so it's deep in the money paying pretty much the fair value of what it would be at expiration so let's call this fair value at expiration right here we paid 259 the fair value is 215 ish at the lowest but i believe we were close to 240 so basically we we're given 20 cents for the extra time that we're, we're, we're playing with and looking for a good profit Good in this case, you know, it's 100%. I was looking at that 100%. We played a similar play on Netflix. It never reached target. But if you look back at the play, the target would have netted us exactly 100%. So, um, you know, if it had gone only up to here, which is the other 50 EMA, uh, you know, the red line, we're still in profit. Because we're, you know, we're, we're not quite, we're uh, 460, we're now four in the money, we're green. And it, there's very little decay. It's almost a one-to-one -one move. So it's a lot more, a lot less stressful to hold and a lot easier to get to our, towards our target. Obviously, you could take next week if you plan on holding longer, but in, my, in this case, I wanted to show you what a GSS play was. So we entered here, 259. We exited there, 
at precisely 521, which was, uh, if I recall, somewhere in the neighborhood of um, 80, 80 something percent. I'll have to look for it, but um, I'm sure you guys, yeah, 88% total on something that we took for an hour or so that we believe that is um, a little more risk management for a zero day trade than if you took anything out of the money or something very risky. So um, there you have it. You guys can look for this on zero day trades. The delta is very close to one, delta being um, the amount your premium will change on the rise of $1 on the stock. I'll repeat that. The amount your premium will change on the rise of $1 on the stock, rise or drop, right? So if your delta is 90.90, it means that it will your premium will rise 90 cents when the stock moves one dollar so the closer you are to one the more you are basically at one to one okay. however when you get closer to the money if you're out of the money the closer to the money you are the closer uh the the higher the delta will be closer to one so um as the stock rises and gets closer to your ex your strike the delta will rise as well. However, in our case, we are already deep in the money. So the only thing that it does, is just pretty much a one-to-one -one move. Stock move 10 cents, we move 10 cents. So I hope this is all clear. If you have any questions, please ask, DM, and um, send comments. And please make sure to either like it or subscribe and you'll get more of these um, alert, alert, alerted in your box. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, keep smiling. Happy Thanksgiving.